they are uh, What's Up Voyager team, and we have to come together. Uh, they are Tori, Doug, uh, <laughs> Adrian, uh, sorry, Chris, Chris and uh, Anthony. Uh, so what I want to do is uh, all together we really love to say how we can humanize spacecraft and humanize universe. Especially for young kids, seniors, everyone from every, uh, different backgrounds. So what I do, so we actually we create a Voyager 2 with Google Sky to present the views of Voyager as it's flying through the universe. And what's special about this project is that we're actually viewing the universe from the first uh, person view of the Voyager itself. Uh, so what we did is, is that we work on the code of Google Sky and we spent so much time to collect the coordinates. Uh, we collect all together over 11,000 coordinates uh, on a day, like on a daily basis where it's tra uh, uh, traveling through the universe and we spend so much time trying to uh, kind of convert the coordinates from equatorial system to galactic system to galaxy system. Uh, so it's a ton of work and it's also a ton of code. But it's, it's so much fun. We are learning by doing it. So let's okay, get into the demo. So yeah, what just happened there is we started at the Cape Canaveral uh, launch point where Voyager 1 came out, and that was the launch day. So we're going to flip to the uh, sky view here. Now we've taken all the coordinates, and Craig, if you could explain a little bit how the coordinate system works for Google Earth, how it moves. Oh, uh, sure. So this is uh, uh, geocentric, um, uh, equatorial, so this is... Um, uh, um, uh, right, ascension, uh, uh, right ascension and declension, uh, and um, we took um, we took coordinates from a website, converted them, uh, and just uh, plotted them out over time. And so uh, you'll see a jump from day one to day two, uh, and then we actually um, were able to create a tour. So this is like a little video uh, of Voyager as it moves through space. And while uh, Craig and he were working on the coordinate system. Chris was using the uh, leap motion controller. So he's going to show this, but higher tech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and while he's doing that, one thing I'll uh, just add is the, the hope was, or maybe the intent would be, uh, to find interesting stopping points, uh, to put up little balloons like you saw before uh, for lunch day to say, oh, I'm passing Jupiter and uh, this is what's exciting about so the view that we see going along is how it would look to Voyager as it's heading out exactly. from yeah, Earth. Exactly. So um, I was working on the Leap Motion. I think it's an amazing technology. I think it gives accessibility and uh, the ability for children who may not be used to more complex interfaces to use it. And uh, one thing we imagined was this being used in a museum because uh, I was able to enable through the JavaScript uh, libraries for the Leap Motion SDK the ability to use uh, hand motions to move the uh, the tour along. So the the hope here, uh, we got it all going in one direction, and the hope here would be that there would be a guided tour of the Voyager path that would say, oh hey, do you want to go back to the thing that you saw before? Uh, swipe your hand this way, or do you want to keep moving along? Well, let's use this hand motion to move along. Um, and in addition, our plans are to, in the future, expand the controls of the motion, the leap motion, to allow for zooming, to allow for selecting objects that would, uh, that would display annotations, and uh, to give people the ability to interact not only in a uh, way that they may, may not have with the Voyager, but also to interact in a way with computers that they might not have had the ability to do before. So. And if I could say one thing about the importance of it, uh, it's like the data for you know, these space missions is out there, but it's not in a really good readable format. And so especially for young people, it's like you can show them in a way that they can understand in, in the context of the technology that they use and the world that they live in. And, uh, and have some fun. Yeah, and have <laughs> some fun. You know, especially for younger people that this, this mission happened decades ago, they may not realize that a lot of the data and photographs and knowledge that we have about space happened from these missions. So it gives them a good, you know, it gives everybody a good view of kind of why these kind of missions are important. Yeah, it's, and especially the building model is very clear. You just have the coordinates, have the global sky. So we can not only do Voyager 1 or Voyager 2, but Pioneer, Long Pioneer, and other, any other spacecraft. And even trying to uh, do the model of how the, how the satellites are moving around the Earth and how the satellites are looking at the universe.
If anybody in the audience has questions, then. Yes. Yeah. 